I think his head's been turned. But again, you can't be too critical because these players have been outstanding players for Celtic. Let's, let's not forget. Let's have a bit of perspective. Let's, let's not forget. I know it's history and it's gone. But Edward has been a magnificent player over the years. At this moment in time, he doesn't look at it. He doesn't look sharp. He looks a bit disinterested. And that's the way that Christie was a lot of the time last season. Looked looked as if his head had been turned. But all of a sudden, this this he's turned up. And he's running around. He's covering every blade of grass. And he's absolutely magnificent, Stefan. So he's either playing for a new contract... Or he's even playing to all of a sudden say to other clubs, look, come and get me. Yeah, Craig, what do you think? It, no, I just think, uh, again, look, we've both we've both seen it uh, in our in our careers in terms of some players uh, dropping tools. And to be fair, they, they, it's a horrible thing to do, you know. Like, again, in terms of that team environment, um, you know, players know that you're there, but you don't really want to be there. And it can have a real negative impact on the on the squad. Did you ever um, do that? Did it ever happen to you? Were you ever tempted? Not a to, chance. To down the I wouldn't have thought so. Not but a no. chance. For me, it's like every day you go in to, to give your best. Um, you, you compete. Um, you're, you're looking for a position at, at the weekend. Even when I was a regular, it was exactly the same. It was fight day in, day out to try and get that game uh, that wasn't guaranteed the jersey at the end of the, the the week, and if there was talk or speculation that I might be moving uh, moving on, which did eventually happen, I knew that again the way that you present yourself day to day and week to week when you get the opportunity is what is going to get you the next opportunity. So that's so important as well. He's ready to come over the desk when I said that. I'll tell you, you can see <laughs> that passion, can you, John? <laughs> tell Steve what was it like there when I said, "Did you ever down the tools?" No, not a he chance. He wasn't happy. No, I mean, uh, we John, did you ever feel like uh, you know putting the tools down? No, not at all. I think we weren't allowed to. I think the training, I think the professionalism, the players around me wouldn't allow that to happen. If ever I was, I I was sloppy. You know, I'd, I'd have people like Lenny say, "Hey, what's the matter with you?" You know, you'd have players in there, mates, and. You know, they'd pick you up. They'd, they'd pick you up and make you play a little bit. And obviously, you had a manager like Martin O'Neill who just wouldn't put up for it. Yep. He'd ask you straight out, do you want to be here or not, John? Yep. Do you want to be here? Do you want to be a part of my mm. plan? Do you want to be a part of my team? Mm. Do you want to win with us? Because if you don't, yeah. tell he... me what I'll do. I'll get back on the phone in a minute sure. to do my down. We'll send mm. you tomorrow. Tell Alexa to launch Go Radio or listen on the Go Radio app.